Hi everybody! For today's card I'm going to start off by using this heart that I cut out using the classic heart from Spellbinders Nest Abilities. I didn't cut it all the way because I wanted it to be a, my base for it to be a folding card. I'm adding adhesive because I'm going to place it to the heart that I cut out using the Quick Cuts Nesting Eyelet Heart. And I'm going to place the base so I want that larger heart to be on in front of that. Um, this is also another heart that I cut out using the classic hearts. And the paper that I used is from American Crafts. It's called With Love. And I'm going to place that on top of a heart that I cut using the Spellbinders Nest Abilities, the classic scallop hearts. And this I'm going to place on top of the larger heart. So I'm just going to add some adhesive. After placing my heart on here, I'm going to now place the image that I colored using Copics. And I used this, uh, this image right here. And it comes from this Stampendous stamp set that's called Iguana Love. It has the cutest sentiments and the, these images are just adorable. So I'm going to also uh, try and see where I want, just kind of stage my card. Um, the cart and the arrow that I have on here is from a die cut, a set from Little Inker's Designs. And I'm trying to decide how I want my arrow. Um, I'm using the Zig Two Way glue. I'm not going to press on it um, yet. I'm just going to gently place it behind my heart because I'm going to see if I want the arrow facing up or down and I decided that I like the arrow down better so this is how it's gonna go but before I place that I'm gonna set that aside and I'm going to add glue to the back of my image so I can place that onto my card and like I said I'm using the zig two-way glue this is what I like to use for small stamps I'm going to see if I can <laughs> figure out where is it that I wanted it to begin with um, before I press down on it. So I think right here is it's where I wanted it. So I'll press down. And I'm going to use um, Stampin' Up! the dimensionals to place the sentiment onto the card. I figured because it had a red arrow and it's going to go against red paper, I wanted it to stand out a little bit more. Um, the sentiment on here is also from the same stamp set. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. So I'm going to see where it is I want it on here. And right there looks good. So I'm going to leave it right there. Now I'm going to start with the inside. The inside's pretty simple. All I did is just cut a smaller heart using the Spellbinders Nestability Classic Hearts. And the sentiment that I'm going to use is also from the same stamp set. And I love what it says. I want to love you forever. I think that is so cute. So I'm just going to go ahead and place some adhesive and place it in the inside of my card. And it went pretty quick since I had all everything all cut out already. So this pretty much sums up my card. I hope you liked it and thank you again for watching.